Well, hello there. Today it's all about increasing your output. I'm not talking about going to the bathroom, you sick people, you. Yes, I called you sick people because you went there, didn't you? Yes, good to see you. Fred Moore here, uh, time management expert, and as always, bald guy has my hair. How's my hair? I always ask that my kids. How's my hair? You don't have any hair, Daddy. It's like, have you seen my face lately? Yeah. All right, look, before we continue on, do me a favor right now. You're watching this. You're in the middle of it. Like, share, comment on this video. Let me know what you think about this video. Other videos, I'll respond to anything that you type in there, even if it's nasty stuff. Not, don't do that, because why? You, know, you don't want to waste time. I'm all about time, okay? Time. Speaking of time talking about increasing your output. Here is the thing. Increasing output, that means like, oh, that means I have to work a lot harder, right? I have to work longer hours. I have to do much. Not necessarily, because here's the thing. We have the right idea, right? When you, all right, I need to get stuff done, so I'm gonna work and work and work and work and work and work. And work. And you put so much time and effort into it, but you don't get the output. You don't get the results that you want because there's a couple of problems, right? You work until this project is done. That makes sense, doesn't it? All right? You got to build a fence. You don't work until it's half done and go, okay, eh, eh, good enough, right? No, you work until it's done. But what if you never finish the fence? then the fence isn't going to do you any good, is it? No. So you need to set a deadline for that fence, right? We're going to get a dog. We want to get a dog here. I'm not getting a dog until we get a fence. Right? That's not a metaphor. I mean, I need to build a fence. I need to have someone install a fence, right? Yeah. Most people work until it's done. But here's the problem. Whenever you're working on a project, especially if it's something you've created or... Uh, it's a passion project. Uh, I'm always working on my website, on videos, on books, on content like this. And the problem is, it's never done. It's never done. It's never going to be 100% perfect that you want to put it out into the world. It's perfectionism, right? Talk to any creative person, any, any person that creates content, whether it's a movie or a book. Every director, every writer out there will tell you, like, oh, I wish I could go back in that classic novel, the, the one that, you know, put me on the map. I wish I could go back and, and make it better, improve it, right? Because we're never, never satisfied with our work. And that's the problem. Because if we're never completing the work, it's never going to get out there in the world. Perfection is... It's, it's a form of procrastination, really, really. It's got to be perfect. It's never going to be perfect. You need to get it out in the world, warts and all. How do you do this? How do you, how do you increase your output? Well, it's pretty simple. Use timers. Use timers throughout your work day. I do this all the time. Because I can, I'm one of those guys that I, I can be in the zone. I'm working on something and I'll keep on working on and then be like, what, it's five hours have passed already and I'm still not done with this thing that is probably not that important and the details I'm fixating on are a bit, <clears throat> fly right by, right? If, especially if I'm writing something, it, People read it you know, 95 miles an hour, and I'm fussing over, should it be an or? Should it be an and here? It's got to be perfect. It's got to be perfect. But by using timers throughout the day, it limits my time that I'm working on this particular project. For instance, uh, let's say I'm working on a website. All right, I'm going to set a timer for 50 minutes, five zero minutes. Why not an hour, Fred? Well, I like to schedule myself some time in there for breaks, right? Every hour I try to get up and move around and do stuff. And I forget. You get in the zone and you just get going. And those timers, boom, pops up. Ding, 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 ding. Hey, stop what you're doing and move on to something else. Now, it may be a case of 
uh, like when I'm prospecting, I'll set around two hours a day to do that. So I'll set a timer to stop and then I'll go back to it and continue on with the work. But still, I'm setting a time limit. I'm using timers to stop what I'm doing. Why is this important? Well, it gives me a deadline, gives me a hard stop. All right, look, I'm done working on this at this time and it needs to go out or it needs to be published or it needs to whatever. But I'm done with this right now. And now I can move on to something else. I don't have to fixate on that. Like, oh, it's not perfect, but I don't wanna, I just, never gonna be perfect. Never going to be perfect. It, it's like the person, you know, that is afraid of failing, so they never try. And they never get anything done. Just by using timers throughout the day, you can increase your output and, I don't know, do something crazy, like, do so much more. What a concept. Speaking of more, how about some more time? Check out more time, fivehoursback.com. Go there right now if you haven't already done so. Uh, there's a video on there and there's a PDF that's going to show you nine simple things that you can do to get on average about five hours back in your week. Five hours back that you can use to work on that stuff. Not going to be perfect, but at least it's going to be out there in the world. All right, we'll see you next time. Go, go, do, be. I don't know.